Hello YouTube, this is Goody and this is going to be another 5 quick tips video for old school RuneScape. If you enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and leave any tips you want me to use in this series in the comments and I'll make sure to give you full credit if I do use it in a video. Tip number 1. A lot of people are unaware of this but the escape key is actually the hotkey for the inventory. This was added in a patch on the 27th of February by Jagex. Tip number 2. A lot of people pointed out the other day that RuneHQ have actually re-released all of their old quest guides onto the website. This means that a lot of the quests that were removed from the game and therefore were removed from all the fan sites can be found on RuneHQ. Tip number 3. Ectophuntus is currently the most cost efficient way to train prayer, however at the minute it is painfully slow. In order to speed up the process you can actually buy buckets of slime from the charter ships that are dotted around the map. Actually buying buckets of slime from the charter shops was removed from the original runescape because it, Jagex felt it was too overpowered and made the process of doing Ectophuntus far too simple and quick. So make sure to take advantage of those being in the shops while you can. Tip number 4. A brilliant place that you can train your stats is the Tuzar Fight Cave. In here, if you die, you keep your items, which means that you can just repeatedly go inside, training up every single time. You can even just whack on auto retaliate and AFK for a few minutes while you get some free XP. This means that there's no risk of dying and you can also use prayers every time you go in there to speed up your XP a bit. Tip number 5. If you go to the basement in Varok Museum and talk to the first person that you see, he'll ask you to go around and answer the questions on the different cases. If you manage to do all this, it doesn't take very long, maybe 5 minutes, then he'll reward you with a thousand slayer and hunter XP. That's enough to get you immediately to level 9. And they are all the tips I've got for you in this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like. And also, please make sure to leave your tips in the comments below. This series will only happen if I get enough tip submissions because it's really difficult to find enough tips just by myself. So please make sure to submit them. I will, of course, give you full credit in the video. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.